Pyrenees. Um, for those new to the channel, I'm Julie and this is Ian. Um, we're setting up a tiny homestead here in the Pyrenees on a small plot of grazing land we have for our pony Tyson. And on a small plot of land, a third of an acre that we've just bought from our local mayor, we're uh, starting our off-grid container house project. So some exciting times for 2021. We're really looking forward to um, getting started and cacking on with these projects now. So please subscribe below and uh, just Hit follow us like along. Hit the like button. Yeah, just come along for the journey. It's going to be fun. But in the meantime, we started quite a few projects just before the holiday season. Um, as you know from the last video, we finished off the, uh, the field gate. Today's finishing off project is this field shelter. And that um, divides the growing area, the new growing area, and the grazing land for, our, for, the, uh, for the pony. So we're going to crack on with that and finish off the siding, put some um, rock boards on the bottom and uh, hopefully Tyson will be able to use it tonight. We say we divide it from Tyson, he's actually in there. While we're working he's always with us, he has to be next to us, cheeky little man. He's not going to like being separated. to do is cut these four meter planks down to two meter size um, we need 22 all the way around so 11 planks cut in half got to go turn the generator on So next job is to put these up onto the uh, the three cross sections. Um, just before Christmas, I was umming and ahhing whether to shove them right up close against each other um, because I was thinking, oh, are they going to expand, etc. But these planks are soaking wet, absolutely sodden. So I decided to put them right up, butt to butt, no gaps whatsoever. And as you can see. All the gaps, all the planks now have dried out, the ones I put on about a month ago, and you can see the gaps between them. So uh, I think, hopefully I made the right choice. Um, we're gonna be covering those gaps with a small strip on the outside. So I'm gonna just carry on and do that now.
I see you, Mr. Right. right, we've got a couple of um, thin strips to cut down. So uh, this board's split, so I'm just going to use this one. I've got three small strips and that will finish off that part of the siding. So. So the next job, I've just got to put up a, uh, a small top board across here to fill in that gap. to do all the external wood means put all the little trim pieces on in between each plank where the expansion gaps were from when the wood was super wet so it's looking really smart I love that it looks lovely you made a nice job so next job I've been and collected some oil from the local garage so tomorrow I can mix uh, my diesel and old engine oil and start um, treating the rock boards for the bottom. We have um, wood that's going to go all the way around so before we put that on I'm going to treat that with my G2 
Julie Special Diesel and Oil. So the sun's starting to dip down behind the mountain and when we lose that sun it gets cold so it's time to start packing up now and back tomorrow. guttering and um, there's a few pieces we were missing so we collected those yesterday the angles and um, we've just moved Tyson's water pot from the other side of now where there's a fence um, which was fed by a, a rather long hose pipe from home over our friendly farmers sheep field and um, so now his water bin has been put here and the next three days is forecasted quite heavy rain so hopefully that should do the trick of filling it up. We're just finishing off the animal shelter with some rock boards. Just got to notch out the sides for the concrete plinths and then once they've been done Julia will uh, slap a load of oil on and then I'll screw them on. I'm just about to mix up some old engine oil together with diesel um, same as I did for the wooden post that we put in the field um, this is to protect all the rock boards that are going around the base of the shelter because it as you can see it's all untreated wood so I'm going to start mixing um, some nice thick engine oil oh god this is dirtier than our oil I got this from the local garage oh look at that that's dirty he never leaves our cars that long. Put the diesel to thin it. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice dirty oil. These boards I'm treating at the moment, we're going to use these ones for the base of the polytunnel so we can get these screwed in and I can finish the polytunnel off and then I'll move on to the ones for the shelter So I don't like the colour, this oil's too dirty, it's too black but it'll be alright for the polytunnel 
we've done the uh, the rot boards so everything's been uh, oiled and Julie is still oiling ready for the uh, the poly tunnel later on we've just got one day of sun within about three or four days of rain but uh, it's not too bad just finishes off the bottom the cardboard is there because we're going to actually lay cardboard all in this shelter there's some uh, more wood drying out and on top of the cardboard we're going to be put wood chips and then that will uh, stop any weeds or anything else growing through and then for the horse Tyson we'll put down some uh, down some straw well, thanks again for watching um, I'm gonna finish off my last two planks that need oil in and that's us finished for today and um, the next project we'll be moving on to is constructing our compost bins which will go just across here and hopefully the plastic will have arrived and we can finish off um, the hoop house so it's all coming together so thanks again hit that like button and subscribe and keep watching and see you next time from the Pyrenees bye bye Woo!